Hi, I'm Phil, and today we're going to have a look at the second in the series of Raspberry Pi images. So let's just do a quick recap on what we're doing. Uh, we wanted to explore creating and manipulating images, mainly on the Raspberry Pi, but this time I'm also going to compare it with the Windows PC, and we'll do that more in the next video. Uh, we're going to capture uh, images. Well, we've done it already with the uh, camera in the internet. This time we're going to generate um, an AI image. Um, and we'll do it offline. And uh, in the next video, we'll do it online. And our image generation will come from text prompts, which we type in on the keyboard. Uh, previously, we looked at um, image recognition with TensorFlow. And the applications for all this are in STEM education and for group demos at Osbury and robots and AI. And primarily, we're using the uh, Model 5 uh, with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And uh, we've got a little bit of extra hardware. Uh, besides the Raspberry Pi, we've got a, um, a way of cooling it. And we add lots of extra memory with an M.2 SSD card and a M.2 hat for the Raspberry Pi. And uh, what we're going to do is go across and have a look at the projects. We've already done the Raspberry Pi camera and Node Red and the slideshow. And now we're going to start the uh, AI image generation. And this video will uh, focus on AI image generation offline and here is my desktop so in the top image uh in the middle we've got a um a crow view monitor and keyboard which is attached to the um raspberry pi model 5 on the left and we've got a mouse on the right and uh, just below that the next photo is what the raspberry pi looks like on the bottom level, we've got the Model 5, and the upper level, we've got the M.2 hat. And on top, we've got a camera. So uh, let's go and have a look at what the objective is. And uh, we might bring that um, to the middle and increase the font size. Uh, we're going to um, install a uh, stable Diffusion XL image generator model locally on the Raspberry Pi. And we'll uh, go to run the uh, image generator and um, have a look at um, uh, what images we get. We use the Raspberry Pi and access. We don't really need access to the internet. So this is an offline version. So we might change that later. Hardware wise, we're going to use a stable diffusion model and uh, to do that we need to install the model just with that simple command uh, then we run the script and um, that's going to be run on the raspberry pi and we'll then um, execute it and see what we get so uh, these are some of the results so when we run that script we get um, for a prompt and the prompt here is a cat a very very simple one and we're only going to do this over five steps and the steps last from 48.6 uh, to 61.1 um, seconds and uh, we can then have a look at what the image uh, looks like when we create it nothing particular uh, exciting about that one just a cat uh, we might look at some of the other ones. Perhaps we'll go down to a more recent one. This one here, the prompt is, we want to see the Putin Russian leader wearing a Nazi uniform. And uh, here are the tokens from the prompt. Uh, the time-wise, it's similar to what we had before. And, um, and now we have a series of images. Uh, well, the top one, was created by the program. And this is a comparison of when we do a Google search on that. Okay, perhaps we can have a look at a, 
another couple. We'll, we'll just go down to nine. And the prompt for this one is uh, humble President Trump eating a banana. And uh, we've got the, uh, the prompts and the times for each step. And uh, let's have a look at the image that was created. So the top one was generated by our model and a Google search will actually give us um, some other amusing results for President Trump. Okay, so we might just do one more. Uh, number 10, uh, we've got this time the cat and it pays to add a little bit more of context. So it's not just a cat, but it's a cat um, drinking milk. And uh, the last one, that we've got here is the prompt, is the start of World War Three, And um, after we've got everything, it comes up with a map to show us where it thinks World War Three might actually start. And uh, stay tuned for a desktop demonstration where we look at a cat wearing a bow tie. So overall, I was quite happy with the results on that. And um, we might go across and have a look at the, um, the references. So uh, this project was uh, originally came from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And we might go across and have a look at that now. So you can do this project and pick it up uh, online at the um, uh, Raspberry Pi Foundation. And they do it with a cat and go through it step by step. Uh, we'll go back to our mind map. And uh, there are some good references um, on the stable diffusion model. Um, so uh, the model was released in 2022, and it uses diffusion techniques and a model. So we might actually go across and have a look at that. Okay, the diffusion model. So um, on the Wikipedia, it'll tell us all about how we're using uh, proper ballistic models um, to uh, generate images. And uh, uh, here is the summary of uh, doing that. So uh, plenty of mathematics involved, and it's a bit of fun running the model on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, stay tuned for a desktop demonstration. Here we have the Raspberry Pi Model 5 with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a uh, M.2 SSD drive. And uh, it's connected to a uh, CrowView display. And what we're going to do is demonstrate um, offline image generation. And um, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll um, look at the uh, terminal on Raspberry Pi. On the uh, Raspberry Pi desktop, under the Bookworm operating system, we're going to run the uh, script to generate our images. So we'll um, go down to the um, prompt. Now, we'll, what we'll do is just run that one run it in a uh, terminal and it will be a cat with a bow tie we'll do that over six steps and it will be cat bow to png so it's um, found our prompts and our tokens and we just have to wait till it enters the next phase so after 53 seconds we have finished the first stage then after another 48 seconds we've completed the second stage then after uh, 46 seconds we've completed three stages a further 47 seconds and we've uh, completed the fourth stage. Now five stages with a further 47 seconds for the fifth stage. Now uh, all six stages have been completed. 
we're just going to uh, decode and look at the final image. So uh, the decode phase is now finished. Let's go and have a look at the image. It's cat bow two. And here's our second um, cat with a bow tie. We might compare that with the other one, which I've just done previously. So each image is slightly different. I'll just get those side by side so you can compare those. And we've generated a cat with a bow tie on two occasions uh, with our uh, diffusion, stable diffusion generator.